Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to focus on old cartridge labels, uh, how to take them off and also how to reapply them, uh, making them look brand new. Um, you can see this one is uh, coming off a little bit uh, in the seams here. So we're going to take that off um, and uh, you know properly reattach that. So I'm going to show you uh, how to do that. Um, in addition, the techniques that I'm about to show you, those will work on any uh, cartridge um, and any label. Uh, this is an Atari 2600, um, but you know you can use this on an uh, Intellivision, uh, ColecoVision, Atari, you know, all the Atari cartridges. This is basically just showing you the technique. So you're going to need a couple of tools in order to do this. Um, in order to take the label off, you basically need a hair dryer um, that'll heat up the glue and uh, loosen it. Now once you've done that you're gonna need something like this. Um, this is uh, Super 77 it's a multi-purpose adhesive which uh, you know is a spray based adhesive and it's a contact glue which means that you put it on both of the ends um, you know one on the surface and one on the item that you want to attach to that surface. So I'll go in detail uh, on that later. But since this is a spray, uh, you know, I'm not going to take that off and just spray willy nilly all over this. I'm going to get glue everywhere. So you need just a little container like this. Um, just basically take some scrap uh, cardboard you have laying around the house and just cut it open so you got a nice little working surface in here. And of course, you know, it's a nice little workspace. Um, you also need, uh, well, you don't need it, but it's helpful to have some Q-tips. Um, so uh, we're gonna dissect this and uh, take a look at what we got. So first things first is gonna use the blow dryer just to heat up the glue, as I mentioned. So uh, um, you can also use a heat gun for this. Uh, however, a lot of heat guns will have really high heat settings and this is plastic so there's a chance you actually can uh, melt the plastic. That's why I prefer a hair dryer. So we'll just go at it and uh, you can see how right now uh, you know this is as far back as it goes. So I'm gonna take it off a little bit more uh, just to show you how to loosen it up. Um, and then uh, I'm going to do some cleaning as well, but that's a different topic, so. And uh, there you have it. So just a little bit of heat, and I already got it down to where the screw points are. Um, you know, there's, for me, there's no point in taking it off even more. Uh, it's just going to basically make it more difficult to put it back together again. This will give me what I need, it'll give me access to the screws, and I can now take this apart and clean it. And it's easier to reattach uh, the label. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, basically clean this up, and then uh, come back and uh, glue it back together again. Okay, so uh, we're uh, back, we're going to put this uh, label back on the cartridge. Um, the cartridge has been uh, cleaned and uh, Basically, what we're going to do is uh, take this uh, adhesive. Uh, it's Super 77. It is a uh, multi-purpose adhesive that is a uh, contact glue, which means that we will put it on the base and also on the label itself, and then uh, put those two together to create a strong bond. Now, this is a spray adhesive, as I said, so, you know, instead of just spraying all over this and getting glue everywhere, uh, you know, we're going to put it in here. But again, we're not going to spray on top of the cartridge because we're going to just get glue everywhere along there. So instead, what we're going to do is to use the Q-tip uh, in combination with this little scrap box. So I'm just going to spray some glue in there and then take the Q-tip and uh, apply the glue to the space right here. And then we're also going to apply the glue 
to the label itself and then we're gonna take the label and just uh, slowly work its way up and uh, squeeze it back in place onto the cartridge smoothing out any uh, creases that we might have like so and uh, there you have it so that's how you basically take off a label and uh, how you reapply it back to the cartridge itself so thank you so much for watching